Welcome to this video. In the previous video, we saw an interesting example based on the application of trigonometric ratios. Today, we will see other interesting examples based on the application of trigonometric ratios. A bird sitting on the branch of a tree is looking at a rat on the ground. At this time, the angle of depression is 30 degrees. But when the rat moves 20 meters towards the tree, the angle becomes 45 degrees. Can you find that height from the ground where the bird is sitting? With the help of the given information, let us construct the figure. Let MN be the height of the bird from the ground denoted by H. And let's represent the first position where the rat is seated by point P. In that case, the angle of depression made by the line of sight and the horizontal line of the bird sitting on the branch is 30 degrees. Looking at the figure, we find that PM is a transversal line of parallel line of LM and PN. Therefore, in this case, we can say that angle LMP and angle MPN are alternate angles. So, they will be equal. And in the second case, when the rat travels 20 meters towards the tree, the angle of depression becomes 45 degrees, assuming the distance from point O to N is X meters. Where the angle of depression formed by the line of sight and horizontal line is 45 degrees. Therefore, in both the above situations, the following figure is obtained. Since we have to find the height of the bird from the ground, so let's discuss triangle MNP. In triangle MNP, we can see that the measure of side MN will be H and the measure of side NP will be 20 plus X. So, with the help of the information obtained from right angle triangle MNP and trigonometric ratios, the value of tan 30 degrees is obtained as MN by NP. On substituting the values of sides MN and NP in tan 30 degrees and solving it, the value of H is obtained as 20 plus X by square root of 3, which is not a complete solution because here the value of X is unknown. Let us represent it by equation 1. Now let's talk about triangle MNO. With the help of trigonometric ratios, we can see that the value of tan 45 degrees will be mn by no, where solving the equation with the help of the figure gives h equal to x. Let us represent it as equation 2. Solving the equation by comparing 1 and 2. The value of h is obtained as 20 divided by square root 3 minus 1, whose rationalization gives the value of h as 27.32. So we can say that the height of the bird from the ground is 27.32 meters. Today in this video, we saw an interesting example based on the application of trigonometric ratios. In the next video, we will see the common mistakes that are made while solving these types of questions.